Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Patrick with ECMMOGamers.com and we are continuing our look at Blizzard's new uh, real-time strategy hero brawler, since they're not calling it a MOBA, Heroes of the Storm. So <clears throat> again, today I'm joined by my casual Sunday Gamer co-host Alex. Hey, hey. And today he's going to be piloting Uther the Paladin for you. So I will turn it over to him now. All right, so Uther is technically classified as melee support. Um, and if, if you know me at all, you know the that I am. abandons no man. I am not one to, to play along the norms, and even though Uther is technically going to be considered a healer class, I play more of a hybrid damage version of Uther. The last game I played, I had at least 12 kills more than the next person behind me and I led it with 22 kills total. So he's very potent as a damage dealer and, and as a melee damage dealer, but uh, don't underestimate his healing ability as well. Just because you're um, just because you're doing damage doesn't mean that you can't heal your allies and stuff around you. It's a... Um, he, he was sort of complicated at first. Of course, if you've played WoW, you've, uh, you've played Paladins. I, I would hope by this point you've played a Paladin. And uh, Paladins are button mashers. You're constantly, constantly having to do things. They don't do very much on their own, just you know, allowing base vanilla damage to, to, uh, to do anything. So it's, it's constantly using your abilities. It's watching your cooldowns and, uh, it's once you get the hang of it, it's, it's very fun to play. Um, right before we started the video, uh, we were talking about the new rotation that's coming in this next week. Blizzard's going to be, uh, they're going to be unveiling four new heroes and, um, uh, we were we were talking about you know when once the game goes live, uh, Patrick has already figured out who he's going to be playing, um, and and I have too. I've, I've picked out the three that I'm going to start the game with. Of course, it's going to be free to play. It's going to be free to download, and uh, you can either purchase the characters through money or you can purchase it through the gold that you get in the game. Um, so far, out of the heroes that I've seen, uh, I'm going to purchase three. That's what I set my limit. Uh, at the beginning, and so far, out of the heroes that I've seen, um, the three that I'm going to be purchasing are uh, the Demon Hunter, uh, Tyrael, which you'll see later, and Uther. Uh, I, I enjoyed playing Uther that much. Now, I'd played Tyrael before, uh, just practicing around with him, and, and I knew up front I was going to like playing him when he came into the free hero rotation. But, uh, Uther quickly made it up there. He's, he's, like I said, a lot of fun to play for me. I play a hybrid build. If you're really into support, um, you know, it's it, it's going to be a toss-up, I think, between between uh, Uther and Tassadar for a lot of support. I hear a lot of great things about Tassadar, not only from you, but from what I've been reading in the forums. Well, well Tassadar is very much a um, bubble-top healer, so he doesn't heal per se but he mitigates damage <clears throat> and that's similar to the way um abathor works if you guys saw my abathor video um abathor which you have an abathor in this spot but he attaches to the hero like i said he's sort of like a parasite and he can create a bubble around the hero he's attached to to mitigate some of the incoming damage so it you know Uther is a pure healer, sort of like Taronda. Taronda in this game is a pure healer. She she actually it, you know, just replenishes health points instead of mitigating damage. So. Well, this is Black Hearts Bay. If you've not seen Black Hearts Bay before, then you've not been watching our videos because it seems like that's all Patrick gets. Uh, the object, right. <laughs> object of this is to collect uh, the balloons and Choose give it to a talent. the ghost pirate, and it's going to. Uh, and they're going to bomb the forts for us. So, starting off with Uther, like I said, I play a hybrid build. So, what I pick first is Retribution. 
Retribution is... The decision. battle begins in it's, 30 seconds. It's a, uh, it's a hammer. If you played WoW, you'll know it as, as a sort of like Hammer of Justice. It stuns the, uh, it stuns the, um, enemy heroes. Enemy heroes. And the, in this one, it actually does a decent amount battle of damage. It does 84 damage. 10 seconds. Uh, we've got Holy Radiance, which 65 damages to enemies in a line, Five, and, and it heals four, the heroes three, for 100 health. Two, and one. The base ability is Holy Light. Let the battle lives. begin. So, I am actually going to follow Arthas, the Lich King, and uh, he is a melee damage type, so I had great success running with Muradin in the last game. The two of us were, were tearing people up, so hopefully uh, I'll have the same success running with. And of course, it would appear he blessed. is virtually AFK. And again, got a little bit of lag going. For Lordera. Very wise. Where it is, there's treasure on the docks. If you're smart, you'll grab it quick. We gotta get the treasure. I'm gonna hit. Your team draws first blood. Cop up those to blue. And maybe I'll turn me yeah, cannons Lord. on your foes. This is a great lag. This An lag. ally oh. has been slain. I'm low on mana. An ally has been slain. Right. Strike with great vengeance. Now I gotta get up here and pin these in real quick. Actually go down. By my honor. Trying to buy myself some time. Demon Hunter. Kind of hurt. And then my coin. Choose here. a talent. For the light. Heal myself up. Okay. So from now, or actually at this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick Shield Ally. Like I said, I'm playing a hybrid build. So this places a shield around an ally and keeps them from having to be healed as much. Right. You have been slain. Turned in three to balloons. Not a great Justice first round. Come. Very well. You guys are up eight to nothing. But we are up eight to nothing, and this is a uh, this is a uh, not my favorite map. It's definitely by far not my favorite game. So it's kind of disappointed. I don't think Uther does as well in this one. Well, they're still early. Bad. This demon hunter tore me up last time. Hopefully I'll have I a little might better luck this time. And get support from Arthas. I'm gonna run. Get him over here in front of my fort. For the light. Kill myself. Get over here and hit the fountain. Hide behind my fort like a pansy. We're on, boys! Let's liven up this place! Choose a talent. Okay, right here, I'm actually going to do Holy Devotion to 100%. Here it helps with my mana regen. Right. Blast them apart! Got in the way of that cannon. Well then, 
Who's got a coin for me services? Some decision. <laughs> You have been slain. And now, as I've talked about in the past episode with this map, you notice there at the top, now Alex's team needs what, 12 balloons to pay off the, cap the captain again. It, in it, it increases a little bit each time you, you activate him. And the Boy, Demon Hunter is a ranged, by my a ranged assassin class. They do a lot of damage very quickly. And it's not one that an enemy really, has been slain. Not one that you can really f afford to leave alone. And uh, of course, I paid the price for not concentrating on it. A sound decision. Hope you're in numbers. There's an abstract which we saw at the beginning. And if you guys saw my Abathor video, then you'll know uh, Abathor is best when left in the base or hiding in the mists or the brush. complete. Oh, and Abathur is now on me. Yep, so get in there and hopefully he will shield you and he can attack the enemies. Does it look like he's casting a shield? An enemy has been slain. Choose a talent. Very wise. There's the shield. Yep, there it is. Now, when Abathur's riding on you, he has an AoE ability to do with great damage and he has a spike ability to do damage. is tearing me up. Now I'm going to pick Divine Storm. Great for minions. For Lord see Lord. here. Just tears them up. They all paid up. But who cares? Let's get to the fun part. Armies of the light beware. Fort destroyed. Fort destroyed. Tarkus is wearing me out. He always does. Tarkus is a great damage dealer. An ally has been slain. Show these rotten lovers what we're made of. Okay, now I do burning rage here. It basically does a. An ally has been slain. I didn't say that enough. An enemy has been slain. We are blessed. You have light. been slain. Gonna make you pay for that. And they're level up. They just caught us at level 13. But one of the things that that seems to be a, a theme for me, anyways, is I, I definitely struggle in the early game, and then as I get as my level increases and my abilities come up, um, I tend to do better Uthering definitely in that realm for me. My Early on, I struggle with Uther, which means as I get better with him, I will probably sit back and do more healing in an attempt to, to help us gain levels early. And that's probably the smart thing to do. My my but... I'm kind of impatient when it comes to that kind of stuff. So. Boy, isn't that the truth? I can tell you some stories from the world of War. An ally days. has been slain. In fact, I think if you listen to episode 51 right. of the uh, Casual Sunday Game, or you'll hear some of those stories that we had. Uh, that we the enemy about has that destroyed day. a fort. An ally has been slain. Enemy slain. Nice. Fort destroyed. An ally has been slain. The light conquers all. By my honor. 
Hopefully I'm gonna hit this demon hunter here. Strike with great vengeance. Let's skip the treasure hunt. It's right there. Go grab it. We are blessed by the light. Sometimes the you just light can't outrun the on us all. Very wise. Light curse. Witch doctor. I told the witch doctor and he didn't like it. We are blessed. You have been slain. Choose a talent. Very wise. For the light. Murder camp. All right, now. Last time I picked Holy Shock, and it didn't give it to me. And it looks like it's not going to give it to me again. So it looks like these are all the abilities that you can have down here. And if you choose an enemy an has early been slain. ability, Holy Shock is not going to be available to you later, and you'll just waste the. An ally has been slain. You'll just waste the uh, talent point. Justice has come. If we find a way to the light. <coughs> change that around, we'll make sure to uh, use that in a future episode. But for the looks of it, if you choose early to fill up all your slots along the bottom, you're just going to be out of luck. Very wise. We're level 16. I think I'm going to go down and try my hand. An enemy has been slain. Enemies of the light. An enemy win. has been slain. Oh, An man, enemy has mercenary. been slain. The light. An enemy has all. been slain. For the light. <laughs> enemies of the light. Beware. We reached an accord. Let's show your enemies a jolly good time. All right. So now we've got this mercenary camp and the pirate ship. And the pirate ship. Right. I have some gold. Main cannons fire. Let's see An what enemy level has this been slain. Camp down here at the bottom. Team is. kill. And we have them completely. A sound decision. Ousted. I have no idea. That's enough! I'll we don't work for free! I'll be able to handle it. Here's a tip. Kill the small one in the back first. He heals the other ones. A sound decision. Keep destroyed. Strike with great vengeance. And he doesn't, the light conquers he doesn't have a lot of health. So. This is a level 17 solo camp. Uther had zero problems with it. Right. I have four balloons. I'm going to go turn those in. Of course, we need 16 now, so. Right. They still need 10. The they enemy has destroyed a keep. They have not keep destroyed. Activated the ship not yet. activated the ship yet. But looks like the demon hunter Palace under attack. To make it into the palace. Which of course is the ultimate goal. So enemies of the light be aware. <laughs> Must him my honor. Enemy slain. Oh, yeah. Sufficient. Enemies of Enemy the slain. There we go. Choose a talent. All right, so I pick you. Hurricane here. It increases the range decision. of my Divine Storm and decreases its cooldown. So. The 
think you can open both chests, you landlubbers? I'm going for the chest. An ally has been slain. By my honor. Enemies of the light, beware. Always remember that if you light. don't do it, your opposing team will. That's right. So we actually, we had a, if you were watching my game with uh, Sergeant Hammer. Strike with great vengeance. They, uh, we are blessed by the light. Um, they actually kept using the Raven Lord way and after I slain. thought it was time to do it. Couldn't have done better myself. Um, and I guess the reason the that they did was so that we wouldn't get yeah. it. To, um, well, use against them. But that actually ended up working, working against them. When it was all said and done. An enemy has been slain. The light conquers all. An enemy has been slain. Keep destroyed. Come on, boys! Let's liven up this place! Jones is Lucko with ya! And that is game, ladies and gentlemen. Victory. Alright, as always, if you enjoyed watching this video, please click the like button and click the crush that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. We've got more content coming to you later this year in the form of different types of videos. So if you if you subscribe now, you'll be aware when those videos go live. And as always, good gaming. <laughs>